Hello guys, I'm going to do a quick comparison today um, between the SSL6's G-Series bus compressor and uh, Waves plug-in version of the uh, G-Series bus compressor that you can get. Uh, if you don't know, the SSL6 is a mixer that SSL makes and um, it comes built in with a G-Series bus compressor that's preset uh, to certain values. Uh, this one is kind of a stripped down version of the actual standalone unit that you can get, but uh, it comes preset with certain thresholds and values, and they specify those in the manual. So I'm going to set the waves plug in to those same values, and then I'm going to compare the two. So you can see what the, the physical hardware sounds like compared to the plug in. Okay, directly from the SSL6's manual. Uh, the G-Series bus compressor in 6 is a stereo compressor applied across the main mix bus using exactly the same circuit topology as the original design found on the SSL 4000 G-Series console, which was released in 1989. The compressor on the SSL 6 features an adjustable threshold and makeup gain. However, the attack and release times are not defined in the manual, but they are uh, set to something that I guess is suitable for a wide variety of mixes and the ratio is preset to 4 to 1 which is a, a pretty common ratio that's used with uh, this style of compressor. Alright, let's just not waste any time and jump right in. Alright, so first things first, uh, we're gonna record a few things here uh, and then we'll run them through the hardware and then through the uh, plug-in and see what the differences are. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. The small pup gnawed a hole in the sock. The fish twisted and turned on the bent hook. The beauty of the view stunned the young boy. I think that should be good for some voice examples. So let's stop here. Okay, now that we have those, um, we're going to run them through the SSL6. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. The small pup gnawed a hole in the sock. The fish twisted and turned on the bent hook. The beauty of the view stunned the young boy. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. The small pup gnawed a hole in the sock. The small pup gnawed a hole in the sock. The fish twisted and turned on the bent hook. The fish twisted and turned on the bent hook. The beauty of the view stunned the young boy. The beauty of the view stunned the young boy. All right, guys, let's check out what this sounds like on a soloed guitar track. Okay, so now let's hear what it sounds like on an entire full mix.
All right, guys, so there you have it. Uh, my final thoughts on this are that the hardware definitely sounds uh, quite a bit better to me. Um, I don't know how to describe the difference. It's a very subtle difference, but there's a lot of, I'd say, depth to the sound. Like It, it just has a different characteristic to it that I think is very uh, pleasing. The SSL6's G-Bus compressor is definitely preferable to me at least over the uh, plugins I think the hardware just leaves a really nice like it has depth to it that I don't think the plugin has it's it's a kind of a very minor difference it's almost hard to hear to a certain degree but there's just a different feeling about the entire characteristic of the sound honestly this would be great for running an entire mix through or even individual tracks like I think anywhere that you would use a plug-in with a similar ratio. Um, like, it's a no-brainer. Like, I would use the hardware 100%. Uh, with that said, guys, so this was a quick overview of that G-Series compressor on the SSL6. I'll have a full review of the SSL6 out at some point, so keep an eye out for that. If you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to like and subscribe and leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, and have a good day.